This is a book called Whale Fall, Exploring an Ocean Floor Ecosystem. And it's a pretty new book with lots of honors and awards, so let's hope you enjoy it too. Called Whale Fall, Exploring an Ocean Floor Ecosystem. When a whale dies, its massive body silently sinks down, down, through the inky darkness, finally coming to rest on the soft, silty seafloor. For the whale, it's the end of a 70-year life. But for a little-known community of deep-sea denizens, it's a new beginning. The whale fall is a bountiful gift that can sustain life for another 50 years. Hungry hagfish smell the whale from miles around and swarm the scene. It may be their first meal in weeks. Sleeper sharks smell the whale too, but they swim slowly through the frigid water. When they arrive, they feast on skin and blubber. Eventually, other scavengers arrive too. Even after six months, rough-scale rat tails and snub-nosed eel pouts are still dining on bits of blubber, while grooved tanner crabs pick away at any leftovers they can find. Over the next year and a half, an army of tiny amphipods strip the whale's bones bare. As these mini-munchers feed, they attract the attention of hungry, deep-sea octopuses. Meanwhile, Oregon hair crabs scarf up scraps that have fallen beneath the bones. Tiny hooded shrimp and pink sea pigs sift through the sediment, hunting for tasty tidbits. These small scavengers make a hearty meal for a blob sculprin. Even after the whale's bones are picked clean, the feast doesn't end. Clusters of zombie worms blanket the bones. As their frilly plumes wave through the water, their roots ooze acids that break down the bones. These tiny Oceanospirillales, Oceanospirillales bacteria living inside the worm's roots absorb fats and proteins that they and the worms need to survive. There's the zombie worm, there's the plume, the whale bone, the main body tube, and the roots. And this is Oceanospirellales bacteria, and there's the root tip. As squat lobsters dine on the zombie worms, brittle stars search the seafloor for morsels, morsels of meat. Sea cucumbers droplet... Sea cucumbers collect droplets of whale oil that have soaked into the sediment. After about two years, the zombie worms have trouble getting the nutrients they need to live and grow. As they die, bone-eating delta probiobacteria take their place. Proteobacteria take their place. Here's the delta proteobacteria. This is inside the whalebone, deep sea microbes. Year after year, decade after decade, these tiny bone eaters tunnel through the whale skeleton. As they feed, they give off gases that so many kinds of deep sea microbes use to make food of their own. Some deep sea microbes form thick, colorful mats that spread across the bones and cascade onto the seafloor. While snails and limpets graze along the edges, scale worms chew trails right down the middle. Other kinds of deep sea microbes seek shelter inside mussels the size of a fingernail, clams the size of a fist, or clusters of tube worms 
swaying in the current. To earn their keep, the tiny tenants make food for themselves and their host. Eventually, every last trace of the mighty whale is gone. But for 50 years, the Whale Fall was a thriving oasis that offered hundreds of species, millions of creatures, a much-needed source of food on the vast, barren seafloor. And somewhere, perhaps not so far away, the cycle is beginning again. And this tells more about Whale Falls. Each year, about 70,000 whales die of natural causes and sink to the safe floor. And that may sound like a lot, but because the ocean is so huge, whale falls are usually spaced many miles apart. And it tells more about the whale falls and about the different animals that it talked about. And if you want, you can pause it and read more. It's kind of interesting talks about how until 1987, they had no idea what whale fall communities existed. And since then, they've found about 25 more in oceans all over the world. And they study those sites and identified more than 500 different species living on and around whale falls. And tells more about the different the different species that it talked about in this. The gray whale and the black hagfish, the Pacific sleeper shark, rough scale rat tail, amphipod, amphipod, amphipod the grooved tanner crab, snub nose eel pout, deep sea octopus, sea pig, hooded shrimp, blob sculpin, Oregon hair crab, Zombie worm, brittle star, sea cucumber, provenid snail, squat lobster, limpet, tube worms, clam, mussel, and scale worm. And some more information about where to get more information. And that, my friends, was called Whale Fall, Exploring an Ocean Floor Ecosystem. And that's stuff that we didn't know before. So that's very interesting. Hope you enjoyed that and that you subscribe and come back often. Got lots more great books to share with you.